Hey there, this is Mara and welcome back to our channel. As you may know, Chris and I are your local Hawaii food service equipment and supply manufacturers representatives for some of the best manufacturers in the food service industry. We are honored to represent them here and it's our job to show you the best of the best of what they have to offer. As a manufacturer's representative, it's our job to go out there and field questions or help specify certain pieces of equipment for any kind of application that there is out there. A question that we got asked a lot over the years is, how do I organize my space? Where do I begin? What do I need? And where can I get these things from? This video is really meant to guide you in the right direction as to what kind of accessories are out there for you in regards to organization and how it can benefit you as far as your productivity. It can be a daunting task trying to figure out how to organize, where to put things, workflows, and on top of running your business and managing a staff. A lot of people that are looking to open up a restaurant, they're looking for places with existing kitchens. It's kind of a no-brainer to repurpose items already in place because they're still good. And with an existing workflow, you can use that for now and then figure out if it works for you or if it needs to be changed. Then as your business starts to take off or you get busier, you want to reevaluate, repurpose, or upgrade. So where do you begin? Well, we start with identifying your work zones to make things easier for organization and efficiency. For example, you have your prep station or tables, hot station, your cold stations, sanitation closets, your walk-in or refrigeration walls, your inventory receiving area, your produce washing stations, your baking dessert stations, your service stations, bar and drink stations, your linen closets, and your laundry stations. Once your systems are set in place, it's easier for your staff to figure out where things go back once they've been cleaned, when inventory comes in, or when setting up for the next shift. So what do you need to get started with your organization? Well, it starts with the shelving system itself, the foundation of your organization. Metro Food Service, the leading manufacturer in the commercial kitchen organization and storage space, and also the creator of the original kitchen wire shelvings you see out there that you can get at any hardware store, those wire shells were created by Metro and were patented. And when the patent ran out, that's when everybody started making duplicates of their system. So Metro was smart and came up with a whole bunch of other systems that were proven to be stronger, cleaner, more sanitary, and has a longer lasting life than any of the competitors out there. Which shelving you choose depends on the environment your shelf will be living in. You typically want to stay away from chrome, which is what you'll see in any hardware store or even your food service equipment and supply stores. Chrome is your basic shelf and one of the cheaper versions and what you want to start off with when it comes to dry storage. Unfortunately, in Hawaii, we don't recommend even using chrome at all, only because our wonderful salty sea air in Hawaii tends to rust the chrome a lot quicker than in the mainland. Especially when you're moving containers off and on that shelf, you're always going to be nicking that surface of that shelf, which will expose the interior part of the shelf to moisture from our air, and it'll create rust. Try at minimum to stick with our Metro Super Erecta coated epoxy shelving, which has a built-in microband, limits the growth of bacteria on the shelving surfaces. Or you can go with our Super Erecta Pro Series, which is our same Super Erecta epoxy coated shelving, but with mats on top. And the good part about mats is it protects the shelf itself from the rubbing of containers and things coming on and off the shelf. So the lifetime of the shelf is much longer than just having a shelf with no mats. The mats are also removable and washable in any commercial dishwasher. For cold storage and dish pit areas where there's lots of moisture, you'd want to try and stick with the Max I or the Max 4 shelving, all polymer shelving. Our Metro Max I can handle up to 1,000 pounds per shelf in a 5 foot length. Now, if you're looking for a specific need, such as our drying racks, the kit has tray holders and dividers so you can line up your trays so there's no wet nesting. And you can also order a water kit system that goes on the bottom, which will eliminate water pooling underneath the shelf from drying dishes. Once the pan is full on the bottom, you can remove it, dump it in your sink and slide the pan back in to catch more water. Now, once you've established the kind of shelving you want, now it's time to optimize it. Optimizing your shelf, basically means mise en place, everything in its place. All tools, containers, ingredients, cleaning supplies should be separated, organized, and within easy reach of any workstation to create a smoother, more efficient workflow. One important thing to note is to always remove your inventory from cardboard boxes. We cannot stress that enough. You need to remove inventory from your cardboard boxes. 
Cardboard boxes are the original organization tool because it's so easy to bring them in from the truck, from your car, or wherever a customer bringing it in and plop them on a shelf or into a refrigeration system. But cardboard gets tossed around a lot, gets put on surfaces that are not really food safe, like the ground, a truck bed, on a wall, you know, on a loading dock. And in turn, those boxes get put on your clean food surfaces when they are brought into the kitchen. Cardboard boxes can also attract pests like roaches and rodents. And it also can be a breeding ground for mold and mildew, especially in our humid Hawaii air. In dry storage conditions where there's not much ventilation, mold and mildew can build up on your boxes, which can be a health hazard for your staff or your customers. So especially during this time, our food service providers are encouraged to remove their vegetables from their boxes and pre-rinse and wash them before they're put into storage containers such as our Carlisle food containers before putting into their walk-ins or their refrigeration systems or bringing them into their kitchen. Also, you don't want to be storing a lot of boxes. I know we use boxes for takeout when there's a lot of, you know, plate lunches and stuff like that, but you don't want to risk using a box that was used, let's say, for meat and then using it, giving it to a customer to take their food home in. So the best thing to do is to get all your boxes out of your kitchen. If you're mainly doing takeout, you probably want to consider our Metro Cup storage system. So your storage is within easy reach, but not on your work surface. Or you can remove your items and put them in Carlisle food storage containers with lids. This could be used to store back stock of takeout containers, utensils, or plates. Consider the Carlisle utensil caddy so you can keep your disposable utensils within easy reach so when you're doing your takeout orders, there's no mistakes or forgetting to put them in the bag. Also think about incorporating your work surface into your shelving. That way you can store all your supplies above and not on the work surface so it's free and clear for active orders. For dry storage items, Carlisle food containers will work for your dry ingredients like your flours, pastas, beans, and that way you can remove them from their boxes and also store them in likes sized and stackable containers so you're not dealing with an avalanche of different sized boxes falling over on top of each other because you're trying to fit all these different things in the same plate. These also come with covers where you can write on them what, what the item is, the date it came in, so it's easy to rotate them and FIFO first in first out all your ingredients. Now if you do a lot of batch cooking and you do use a lot of those big food cans like tomato sauces, you can consider our Metro Can Organizer. It'll free up your shelf for more usable storage, and it'll also give you a FIFO system first in, first out, so you can make sure you're rotating your cans properly. Bakery areas probably already use our Carlisle rolling ingredient bins, but those things can be really large and bulky, and there's just not a good place for them sometimes. So you'll find them sitting kind of stuck in hallways because they just don't have a place to put them. The roll-in rack systems or roll-under shelf systems have a three-sided frame, so it supports the long legs and it ha leaves room for the bins to go underneath and then shelving above it so you're not wasting very valuable airspace. So you can stack all your flour, your other baking powders, any type of small ingredients that are light because you don't wanna put anything heavy on the top. You wanna keep it light and keep the heavy things on the bottom. Another storage hack to consider that I find quite useful are the Metro tray slides. Now a lot of people use it for its intended purpose which is putting food trays into like a walk-in on a walk-in shelf so they can get those rolling racks out of there because those rolling racks can be pretty bulky too. So those rolling racks can be good used under the roll-in shelves. But what you can also use them for are makeshift drawers. You can put Carlisle food pans, slide them into the tray slides and use them to store your utensils, any small little items like food dyes or little things you don't want to get lost, even tools like hammers or screwdrivers that sometimes you'd need in a kitchen, but you don't want to necessarily put them in with your food storage. So it's a good drawer system to put in your shelving. Another useful space a lot of people forget about is the wall itself. Metro has a smart wall system that has a grid that you can put on the wall itself or you can put them on the sides of shelves or on the top of workstations. Now the good part about these grids is that you can buy the baskets, little accessory shelves or the hooks so you can organize all your utensils, your spices, your, your tongs and your spoons all within easy reach of your workstation, you, or you can mount this over a dish drying area where you can put all your utensils on for it to dry easily and not be stuck in a 
a tub where it's going to collect all kinds of dust and dirt as it sits. And on a workstation, you can have all your spices and everything at your fingertips instead of having to run back to the storage area to grab what you need. It's all right in front of you and your workspace or your work surface is clear. Now a staple in every food service establishment now is PPE. Metro came out with a PPE holder that hooks right onto an existing wire shelf and it holds any kind of box of gloves, uh, masks, or even tissues. Also, having a PPE holder will allow your staff to know which boxes are already open so they're not rummaging through the back stock trying to figure out where the open box of gloves is and they're opening up more boxes than they need, exposing those materials to the elements. So it's best to keep your open boxes in the PPE holder and keep your back stock someplace else. Sanjamar also has a glove holder as well that can be mounted to a wall. It's made of plastic and can be screw mounted or double stick taped to a wall. So it can hold one box of gloves and up to three. So you can have different size gloves within easy reach for your staff. For knife storage, we don't get asked very often how to store knives because people like to store them in different ways like with magnets and, and if they have their own personal knives, they kind of roll them in their little bags. But when you have a busy kitchen where staff doesn't have their own equipment and you just have a bunch of knives around, a lot of times you'll see them being put into tubs, buckets, um, thrown around in like drawers, which can be unsanitary, dangerous, and also can chip your knives as well. So what we recommend is the San Jamar knife holder which can be mounted to the wall and you can store your knife safely in those knife holders. The San Jamar knife holder stations are also color coded so you can separate them for allergen situations. For example, if you're very specific as to not mixing your meat and vegetable tools together, you can have knives with separate color codes, put them in those holders to make sure that those knives don't get mixed up. And lastly, every kitchen needs a sanitation zone. This is where you store your mops, brooms, buckets, squeegees, cleaners, sanitizers, and all the other items you don't want to mingle with your food items. If there's wall space, you can install a Carlisle broom holder. That way your brooms are not being tossed around or falling over in the hallways when they're not in use. If you need a place for a sanitation bucket, Metro has a sanitation bucket holder, which you can put our Carlisle Sani pails inside of them. The sanitation pail holder can be put on any 18 inch deep shelf or cart. That way your sanitation buckets are always within easy reach or you know where they are at all times. Organization doesn't have to be this huge task you take on all at once. Regardless of what kind of kitchen you have, there's always a way to make small improvements slowly over time. There are so many more organization tips and tricks out there. If you have a specific need or have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we can help you with your storage needs. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about the other manufacturers we represent, please reach out to us, comment down below or contact us directly at info at packrimreps.com. Or if you'd like more information on any of the products that I mentioned in this video, click the links in the description box below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay up to date on our latest videos. Thanks again for watching and remember to shop local for all your food service equipment and supply needs. It would help us out immensely and we're all here to help and support each other. Mahalo.